Hey guys, it's time for an update on this. Yes, what is this scroungy piece of paper with chicken scratch all over it, do you ask? It's Makeout 2013. So this is finally over with. Yes, I can finally throw it away. But before I throw it away, I want to show you the products that I actually have on here. This is one through 10. This is my little list for any of you who don't know or who didn't follow me on this. Um, it was basically just a little personal goal that I had to, uh, to help break my shopping habits. I had some very bad shopping habits from about 2008 to about 2012. There was a period in there where I got like really hooked on makeup and I was like, you know, up on every new collection and wanting to know about every new collection, wanting a piece of every new collection. It was like ridiculous. And um, yeah, in fact, it's funny because people still reply on those old videos, seeing me purchase all that stuff. And they're like, I thought you stopped purchasing all this. Yes, those are old videos. Yes, this is now. That was then. This is now. And I'm much more balanced now than I was then. So what happens now, you ask? Uh, I am free. I'm, I'm free from this. I don't have any limits for, there's no Makeout 2014. There's, yeah, I'm, I'm free to purchase whatever I want. The question is, what will I want? And how careful will I be? I plan to be very careful and keeping myself in check. And I feel like doing this, this past, uh, well, over a year, 15 months, um, it really helped me a lot. It helped me get things in perspective. It helped me save a lot of money. Alright, so now I'm going to go over the products that I have because on my little list here I have it numbered 1 through 10. My, little, my goal was to like write down like each item that I purchased, right? Have any of you guys ever got together all of your makeup purchases for an entire year to see what it looked like? You know, see what kind of things you picked out and how much it actually was at the end of the year. It's really rather interesting. Alright, uh, I'm going to go ahead and start with the very first purchase that I made. Um, now, I actually started Makeout 2013. It was supposed to be only for you know, 2013. I actually ended up adding three extra months onto it because uh, I started in 2012 in October. So I went to uh, January, basically. Uh, when the iMatch show happened, that's the first time that I made um, my very first purchase. So it was an Inglot blush and it's in number 30. This is one of my holy grail products now. I'm so glad that I got that. Um, my second purchase here, this is a Buxom bronzer. I ordered that online at Sephora. And it's in the color Maldives. That's another um, product that's become a holy grail for me. So I've been super happy with both of those purchases. So that was basically, I made those two purchases between October 2012 and June. So I was doing pretty good then. And then we ended up going on the trip. So here we go with the trip stuff. This is the Gino McRae um, Blush in Sandstone. And it is absolutely beautiful. I love these terracotta colors. This is a nude lipstick, also by Gino McRae. And it's from their Pink Passion line. Gorgeous mauve. And then this is a Models Own. I've never tried anything from Models Own, so I was excited to see a little booth in Thailand. These are all the Thailand purchases. Uh, so this is in, let's see, it's their Powder Blusher in Warm Glow. It's a really pretty um, highlight. Then my next purchases started in September, the very beginning of September, which was the end of our India uh, trip. So this is Deborah Milano, and it's cacao is the color. It's a gorgeous glowy blush, nice neutral earthy tone. And then I have two lipsticks from Lakme. This is Pink Slip. These are from their 9 to 5 uh, color range. And then this is Tea Break, my favorite one now. I love that. And they really do last a long time. It's a very thin consistency, but totally opaque. They're absolutely gorgeous. And then here's a Lock Me Absolute Gel Stylus Nail Polish in New Glow. And that's definitely become one of my favorite nail polishes to wear. So those are all my items from India. And of course I did pick up a few other items, you know, like some other nail polish colors and like a couple bronzers. Um, those went to friends. So I was perfectly okay to purchase gifts for other people. And plus I knew that, you know, my girls would be like, hey, what'd you get me when you're traveling? These are the items I picked up in Australia. I got a couple of products from Nude, Nude by Nature. This is their Virgin Blush. It's a really gorgeous kind of uh, peachy neutral shade. And then this is another product from them, Nude Soft Focus Illuminator. I'm liking less of the shimmery cheeks and more of the soft focus, you know. I like that they've been doing really soft um, kind of highlights, a lot of companies. This is Chi Chi. Uh, the lipstick line is Viva La Diva, and it's in the color Bombshell. It's a gorgeous 
mauve nude. Look at that. Oh, I love those mauve nude colors. And then this is Australis nail color in Bombshell also. Beautiful pink. Nice bright Barbie pink without being too neon pink 80s. And then Australis bronzing powder. Reminds me a little of Tarte Park Avenue Princess. Beautiful bronzer. So there you go. Those are all my makeup purchases for the past year and three months. I can't believe it. I'm so happy that it turned out so well. All right, I had to turn on my light. It was getting dark already. Gosh, winter time. It just gets dark so early. All right, that was all my makeup for the past 15 months. So it basically works down to almost one item per month, you know, 14 items, 15 months. Um, I know some people are like, well, but you still went over by like four items. That is okay. I am okay with that because number one, I was traveling all over the place and I did not want to miss out. I would have been so bummed out. You have no idea. I would have been so bummed having wanting to go on this trip for so long. And then if I didn't, you know, get to like play with makeup or talk to the girls, you know, traveling around different countries, talk about what they like and talk, you know, makeup talk with them. I would have been so bummed if I skipped all of that and, you know, like didn't check out products and stuff and bring some back with me to remember my trip and all the little towns I went to and all that. Yeah, it was, it's so worth it. So, you know, you've got to just find the balance. So that's what I felt. I felt this was a good balance for me. Other people may have done it totally differently. They may, may have stuck very rigidly to it. I feel like four items over was okay for me for doing like, you know, going on a trip that was not planned and just having to kind of uh, combine two goals together. I think it worked out really well. So I'm really happy with that. Absolutely no regrets. And that was my goal. No regrets. Um, okay, this this is done. Yes. Yes. This is done. I'm so happy. All right. These little cards that I was um, holding on to a minute ago, they're upside down. Makeup inventory. Remember when I did this? Oh yeah, I got to do an update with this. Um, not yet though, but I will refresh anyone's memory or if you didn't know about that. I did a makeup inventory where I went through all my makeup collections at the beginning of the year and I counted all my stuff. Like I itemized everything. Like not like the names of stuff, but just like how much I had of every item, like how many lip liners I had, how many lipsticks I had, you know, and so on, bronzers, brush, brush, blush, whatever. And then I made up the ideal makeup collection that I would like to have. Um, so yeah, we'll be talking about that maybe in an upcoming video, like where I stand now, because I had a, a goal of just trying to use stuff up. So that's basically what I'm focused on this year. So like I mentioned earlier, I have no limits this year. I'm not limiting any of my makeup purchases this year. It's just, I wanna see how I do just on my own without any rules or anything. I just wanna see how I do um, because the whole rule, the whole plan of Makeup 2013 was to break the habit, break the cycle. And I feel like I did that. So now I'm gonna see if I really did. So that's basically it. So um, yeah, I'm just sharing my personal personal little goals, what's in my mind with you guys. Um, I will go ahead and let you go because I don't want to talk your ear off any more than that. I know I've done a lot already, a lot of talking already. Okay, so I'll look forward to doing a makeup inventory maybe in January, like an updated one, and we'll see how close I am to um, my ideal makeup inventory versus the real one. I can tell you right now, I'll give you a hint that I originally started with 120 lipsticks that, that is so shameful, isn't it? I know. Anyway, I'm down to like 50 now. So I'm free, free from Makeout 2013 and it's off to a new year, a fantastic new year. So I'll let you guys go now. I'll quit talking your ear off and I will see you in the next video.